they were going to turn this balsa wood glider into an RC micro airplane with a motor included. To see how to make this glider you have to check out the last video where we made this project and I will leave the link in the description below or the one that you see on the screen. We're going to use this micro motor, you can buy four of them at once and I'm going to use this micro battery. You can get those in Banggood and I will leave the links in the description below so you can decide what to buy for this project. The next step is go and make your airplane suitable for the motor you have to make it more aerodynamic in the in the nose of the airplane because the propeller is too small be careful when putting the propeller in place in the motor because if you push too hard you make the motor uh, go uh, snap and this is the first time I'm flying uh, I'm flying without any art ready control just the power and it flies really well I'm trying not to throw it too high because you can lose it and you are not under control of the airplane and this is the second trial you can see that it flies a lot with this little motor and then it crashed into a pole so then it snapped in half and you can see here in the replay how it crashes and snapped so then I decided to make it RC so I can decide where the airplane goes and I can uh, fly the airplane myself These components weigh like 6 grams more, so we add that on top of 10 grams, 16 grams in total that we're going to add to our airplane. So we're going to use these two micro servos to control the rotor and elevator. Uh, to make this, uh, I use like aluminum from a can to make the arms that are going to control these control surfaces. So I make a hole on each side to put the string or like a thread on it. And, and then this is the way I did the control surfaces. I just put these pieces of balsa wood together with some tape and then I leave a gap in between to make it rotate freely. Then I connected the wires to the motor and also to, uh, to supply energy to our receiver. And then I started to put everything together like the strings and the servos. Before tightening the string in the servo arms, uh, I have to switch the power on just to make sure that the servo is in the center position and that way we make sure that the ailerons or the control surfaces are aligned in the center position as well. I'm using FR Sky uh, for the electronics, but you can buy this ship radio that is really good and also is compatible with this receiver. There is a micro receiver and you can also buy these batteries. They come five batteries with a USB charger, which is excellent for this. So you can uh, use several batteries in one day and you ha will have a lot of fun. So here I'm testing for the last time all the controls to make sure before to start flying. And then we can start flying right away. Normally a battery of 200 milliamps like the one I'm using will last like for 7 minutes but after that you will notice that the airplane will lose, will lose some power. So at that point you should go back and recharge your battery. Don't over discharge it because it will be damaged. So if your battery is at 3 volt 
it, that's the lowest voltage possible for the battery. If you go below that, you will damage the battery. So you have to be careful about that. There are many different batteries on the market, but I'm using the 200 milliamps because the weight of it is excellent and the power that we get from it is, is just enough for this project. If you want to use a bigger one, then you will have to build a bigger airplane. And that depends on the, your preferences, but 200 milliamps for this little airplane is just fine. Project, I will use two motors to power this glider and I will see it flying a lot more. I hope you like this video and I see you in the next project.